This afternoon we're going to make a very simple cornbread. This cornbread uses only cornmeal, so there's no white flour in it and just a little bit of sugar to enhance the sweetness of the corn. Uh, what we're going to start with is we're going to use some yellow cornmeal that I already have measured. We're going to use some baking powder and baking soda, some kosher salt, and a little bit of sugar that I mentioned. And for our wet ingredients, we're going to use some buttermilk, some melted butter, and then some room temperature butter for our pan. Now, when I went to gather the ingredients for this, I realized that I didn't have any buttermilk. I had some in the fridge, but it had expired a long time ago. So I decided just to make some. I measured two tablespoons of white vinegar and a tablespoon of plain yogurt into a measuring cup, and then I topped that up with milk until I reached the two cup line. And I just whisked that and let it sit for about five minutes until it had a chance to sour and thicken up. So we can use that as a substitute for buttermilk. So what we're going to do first is we're going to add some boiling water to the half cup of cornmeal that I have measured out. So we'll come back in a second and I'll show you how to do that. So I've got a half a cup of cornmeal measured into this bowl. We're going to make a little mush to start. And I'm going to add to that between half and three quarters of a cup of boiling water. Depending on the type of cornmeal you have, you may need more water, you may need less. But we're going to stir this up and I want it to be nice and absorbed into the cornmeal. I don't want it to be dry. So I think for this particular type of cornmeal, a half cup worked just fine. I don't need to add any more. So if this gets dry, I can always add a little bit more before I add the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna let this cool a little bit and I'm gonna assemble the dry ingredients. Now we're gonna assemble the ingredients. So I have two cups of cornmeal in this bowl. I'm gonna add the tablespoon of sugar. I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to add one teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda. So the oven's heated to 375. I'm going to put a 12 inch cast iron skillet into the oven to preheat while we mix the cornbread. Now we're going to assemble the wet ingredients. So I've got the slightly cooled cornmeal mixture with boiling water. And to that, I'm going to add the two cups of buttermilk that we made, along with two eggs. And four tablespoons of melted butter. And we're going to whisk this until it's combined. And at this point, we don't want to mix the wet and dry ingredients together. We want to wait until the oven is hot and the cast iron skillet has had a chance to get really hot in the oven. And then just as everything's ready, we're going to mix it at the last minute and then pour it into the pan. Okay, now the pan's nice and hot. We're going to take it out and we're going to add two tablespoons of butter to the pan. We're just going to let that melt while we mix the wet and dry ingredients. Okay, so now okay. I'm going to add the wet ingredients and the cornmeal mush to the dry. And we're going to stir this up. Okay, so we've swirled the melted butter around in the pan and we're going to add the batter. And we're going to put that in the oven for half an hour. So the cornbread has been in the oven for half an hour and this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. It's nice and golden brown and crispy on the edges and you can wait until this cools. You can cut it into wedges or into squares and serve it with soup or chili or have it for breakfast with some jam. If you don't have a cast iron skillet, don't worry. You can make this in a regular baking pan. I would, you don't have to preheat it obviously, and add the extra butter that you would melt in the cast iron pan to your batter, along with the other four tablespoons. So use six tablespoons total melted butter. You could also um, you make this as muffins too. You can get 12 muffins from this recipe. Make sure you line your muffin tins with some paper and you can bake cornmeal muffins. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.